Previously on Sunset 10. Now we didn't pay our power this month, so we have no air conditioning. You want to stay here? Oh, please. Anya, I need a wet towel for the Mystic. You take it so seriously. You know it's just a tanning salon. I absolutely love Heidi. I think we bring her as assistant manager underneath Nick. That's going to cause a little tension with right. Nick. She should be their assistant, not Nick's assistant. Exactly. Make her a liaison. We're still skeptical about putting you in Vegas. I care about the best interest in the company. Unless you prove yourself a little better, you're not getting Vegas. There, on my Snapple cap, it said there are 729 types of apples. What? Yeah, that, that many different brands or species really? or whatever they're called. What kind of apple would I be? A green A green one? But green ones are sour and... But they're good. The sweet ones are too mushy. mushy. Ugh. I'm not mushy. No, you're not mushy at all. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, Bad pie? Too long, uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. He was only sleeping. in there for 10. He's sleeping? Yeah, he's sleeping. Let's go check. Uh, are you okay? He's probably dreaming about us. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Is he naked? Can't sleep. Can you hear snoring? He probably just thinks we're in his dream right now, so wiggle, wiggle his head, pull his hair. Pull it? Yeah, pull his hair. Give him a touch, wiggle it. All you girls need a place to stay for a while. I opened up my house to them, uh, but I did not agree to open up a daycare center. Ready? Run up. Can you keep it down a little bit? I'm trying to work. Sorry. Yeah. We're in a whole other room. I didn't think you could hear us. Whatever. Fun. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys didn't have This was not happening. Richard! <laughs> that was my first one ever. Hello? Uh, yeah, Holly's not in right now. Be quiet. Excuse me, can you be quiet? I'm on the phone with my friends and I can't hear you. <laughs> I have a really busy schedule, you know, I'm running around trying to get stuff done. I don't have time to play at the Ollie's right now. You know, when I'm home and I'm working from home, I gotta get stuff done. Why is this in my office? That's my phone. Where's my phone? I don't remember where it went. This is ridiculous, guys. What's that? Look at my house. What's wrong? Cereal on my floor? Yeah. You're playing a game, You gotta right? be kidding me. You guys, I need you to clean this up right now. You're gonna be gone. You won't even have to look at the <laughs> It's all in my kitchen. So I'm leaving for Vegas in the morning. I've got these two kids staying in my house, and I don't even want to imagine what's going to happen. Guys, i got to get some work done, all right? Can you please clean up? I just cleaned my house. Oh, I'll clean it <laughs> Anya, are you on MySpace again? No, I'm just, just look at this comment, how cute. You are at work right now. Okay, okay well, I'm, I'm it's just gonna be two seconds. I feel like I'm always on there, I was just checking something. I don't know why Keely's always freaking out. I mean, we're working at a tanning salon. She really needs to chill out. Can I take no, a break? No, because if we need to go ahead and clean. I'm not gonna like the Windex. Anya. What? You have to do things like that. Can well, you yeah. move so I can Windex? Whoa. Look, there needs to be a separation between work and play. Work what do you, now. what does it look like? I'm, I'm not definitely, I'm not playing right now. I'm working, you're doing what you're asking me to do. You're asking me to win next, I'm winning next thing. It's like, I'm just really starting to feel like Cinderella around here. Honey, Cinderella was sweet. I think I am sweet. It's the right people. Anya better improve her attitude because we're headed to Jenna Jameson's today for a custom tan and her behavior is entirely unacceptable. What are your thoughts on bringing Janelle to Vegas with us right now? We have to bring her to Vegas right now because we've got to get her in front of George. So Devin and I are going to Vegas tomorrow. We're going to introduce Janelle to George Maloof, the owner of the Palms Hotel, and hopefully she'll make a good impression. I'm 
so excited to go to Vegas. So you're gonna actually like go with Jeff and Devin? Yeah. We have a meeting with George Malouf. Shut up. Yeah. I mean, the best thing that could happen is we take her out there. She's motivated, she doesn't go out and party. The whole thing right. here is I want to make sure George is confident and comfortable with her. Everyone's going to be watching everything you do. Oh, no. You know that. They have so much pressure on my shoulders, I almost can't even take it. This first impression is the most crucial time right now. Yeah, hopefully Janelle can pull it off. I'm excited to live here full time, you know, like being from Reno, it's like a really small town and it's nothing like Hollywood. I know. Yeah, different town, different place. I know, I, I see that. Not, I see not, these. Not gonna be the same. Today's Heidi's first day on the job. She comes highly recommended by Jeff and Devin. I'm really interested to see what she's gonna bring to the table. So what's everybody like here? It's like being in high school. Why? Is there a lot of drama that goes on? A lot on? of drama, there's a lot of clicks, there's a lot of whatever. Has Just anyone said it. anything about me? Do you know? I don't want you to tell me who, but did you hear anything? You don't want to tell me about everybody, huh? I just, I, no, I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't like getting into it. Well, no one like really talks to me, so I'm just keeping like, you know, my own thing going on. Honestly, it would be best if it got kept that way. Nick told me to mind my own business about the other employees, but of course I'm curious. I mean, what's going on in here that I shouldn't know about? Do you stay to yourself or? I try to. But your girlfriend works for the company. That's why, that's why it makes things difficult. First day here, you would think that Heidi would actually want to learn her job, but instead she thought gossiping was more important today. Today, Anya and I are going to Jenna Jameson's house to custom tan her. Many times, bigger celebrities do prefer the privacy of their own home. Hi. Hi, Hi Jenna. I'm Keely with Sunset Tan. I'm Anya. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Anya's really been a brat lately, but today I need her to help me out. I expect her to act extremely professional. <laughs> are you going to help me or are you just going to stand know. there? You're showing me. Help me. Lay your down. Yeah. You're supposed to work for me. I have to admit to you that I'm a little bit nervous. So I should probably keep my top on, right? I was a little nervous. It's been a long time since I got naked in front of people, um, which is kind of probably hard to believe. We're bringing you out here next, Tito. Yes, no okay. way. Okay. So, oh. Anya, I'm going to hold the cop. Okay. I'm going to hold it. I'm holding. OK, you're going to get your arms straight. What do you want me to do? I make everything nervous. This is the most fun ever, Tani. Tani, you try it. So you are all done, my dear. Thank you. It's fabulous. I'll definitely do it again. If those hot checks come to my house, I'm in. You might want to like clean up the. I'm not cleaning. What? Anya. What? You haven't helped at all. I'm not going to clean. But I'm your boss. Enough. So? Anya, you can't I'm, just. I know my name. What? It's rude of you. OK, I, I don't want to fight right now. We'll have to talk about this later. I've been extremely patient with Anya. And if she doesn't realize who's boss, I'm going to have to sit her down. I studied all the beds. You studied all the beds, yeah. so you're ready to go. Do you want me to go through the beds with you? Yeah, let's okay. do that. Today, Nick and I, we went over all the equipment. I'm trying to respect Nick as my manager, but in all reality, I'm still a tanning salon owner. So this is, this is the high grade. OK. So this is our level five bed. Um, this is more, or sorry, I'm so used to saying this is longer, this is wider. Um, this is mostly going to tan you instead of burn you. You would never want to, like, say that a bed's going to burn you, like, even use the word burn. Don't take it the wrong way, but it kind of sounds like, you know, a 16-year-old girl who goes to high school is, like, working here, you know, like, but yeah, it's Nick, not going to burn you. Nick, come on. Da, da, da. I own a salon that's been in business for three years, and I have high pressure. Any good salesperson will nail the salon tour. Heidi shouldn't have a problem with this, and the last thing you want is somebody thinking that, you're, that you don't know what you're talking about or that I you're... I would never let that happen in a million years. Oh, oh, only diva 
Nice. Hi. Good to see you. What's up? Devin and I brought Janelle to Las Vegas basically to introduce Janelle to George Malouf. She's never met George before, so tomorrow's gonna be a big day for us. We want you to make a really good impression. I don't need to tell you that. You're great with people, but um, yeah, you know, there's a lot riding on this meeting. You're representing us as kind of a face yeah. person, and uh, George needs to feel confident. I'm not yeah. worried about it. I mean, he's a person like everybody no, else. No, and... we, but there's so much riding on this. This is a huge stepping stone for our company. I'm not nervous about meeting George. I'm just excited to tell him how much money we're all gonna make together. Guys, don't be nervous. Let's all come together and kick ass in Vegas, because I am not worried. I really need you to bring your A game. You got it. It's got to be A or nothing, <sighs> period. Janelle's got to knock his socks off. I mean, we want to leave that meeting with George very confident that we have chosen the right person. What should we do now? <laughs> Whatever we want, we own this place. <laughs> Pretty much, we do. We destroy it. We can invite people over. Party um, time. Right? We should throw a party. We should. Jeff is gone this weekend, and we're home by ourselves, and that means T-R-O-B-L-E. Trouble. We need a party organizer. Party planner. Party planner. Well, we could call our third. Call him. If we're gonna throw a huge, gigantic party, we figured, you know, we might as well call our third Ollie. So we called Polly. Wait, one sec. Hello. Hello. Hi, Polly. It's Holly and Molly. Hi, Polly. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Come on, guys. What's going on? How's your pool coming along? Yeah, we're still working on the pool. I know it's been 50 years. Uh, take a break for a little bit and coordinate our party. So you're doing a party? And you need me to help you out. Invite everyone. We need celebrities, a lot of cool people. You guys, can we take some time off for a party fiesta? Yeah, cool. No problem? No problem. Uh, okay, thank you, Polly. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna make the calls. I'm gonna get the celebrities. I'm excited. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. We're gonna party soon. Okay, bye. Perfect. That was easy. We're hoping that the party tonight is gonna be huge. I mean, it's gonna get messy, but not our house. <laughs> I brought Anya into the conference room today because I know that her behavior will only get worse if I don't address it right now. So I'm gonna have to formally write her up. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna have to write you up for tardiness. But I'm not late. You opened my store a full that was hour. the first time I've ever it doesn't opened here. matter. I called you several times. You never answered the phone. I was and busy. You never called me back. I was busy so, and I called Hang on, you were so busy. Two times in three you were months. busy. That is just insubordination, period. Myself. Secondly, refusing to clean the custom area at Jenna Jameson's house. I'm not you, up after you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I'm not Anya. going to them. Well, then, Anya, you might not be needed here at Sunset Tan. No, so. fire me if you want to fire me. If you I'm know, not I don't here, want if, to... if you're not happy you with know, me. Sometimes I don't know why you're working here. It's like you have no work ethic. Okay, so who can we talk to about signing these? Because I just don't agree with these. So you're refusing to sign? Right now I am, yeah. If Anya doesn't make some serious changes and I have to write her up again, then I'm gonna have to get rid of her. I'm gonna have to fire her. Good to see you. I'm nervous to meet him all of a sudden. Don't be nervous. You'll do great yeah. together. In room air brushing. There he is. Good. 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 Good to see you, buddy. It's cool. Hi, hey, Janelle. This is our star Thank manager, you. Janelle, from our Santa Monica location. Okay. This was a huge deal today, meeting George Maloof. I really needed to make an amazing first impression, but I'm going to be quite honest. I was very nervous to meet him. Well, every, everybody's waiting, so the yeah. anticipation of the score is unreal. It's hasn't been good out here. It's been great. Yeah, yeah. It's been great. Even in LA, people are asking us, when do we go out there? And it's like, it's going to be awesome. We're going to give you kind of what's going on with us. Okay. Janelle, okay. why don't you get into a little about what you see as far as advertising promotions? I think our airbrushing business is gonna be huge. So I'm gonna set up an entire team for that and staff that. I really wanna focus on local business. I wanna create some sort of special gift card. We get them a really amazing discount and get them in the door. Great. Oh, and I wanted to, I haven't even shown you guys this, but I designed a calendar and it's all Sunset Tan employees. And I thought it would just be another tool to drive and build our business. Isn't that hot? <laughs> okay, that's great. Have you guys seen the final product? No. Yeah. Janelle came up with a great idea, creating a calendar, and I think she's going to be perfect for Palm's Place and the Sunset Tan in Las Vegas. My whole concern was if George was going to be confident in our decision, and uh, Janelle crushed it, man. Knocked it out of the park. She did a great job. Very, very pleased. Wait, can I get it so I can practice? Sunset Tan, West Hollywood. This is Heidi. One mystic session is, um... Yeah, it's just a manager. It's, uh, $45. 
35. 35 does, I'm sorry. I've put time into training Heidi, but she's just not understanding how we do things here. She seems to think she has the assistant manager position all locked up, but as far as I'm concerned, she doesn't know her ass from a hole in the ground. Do you think you're ready to handle the store as assistant manager? Yeah, I think I can handle it. I mean, how hard could it possibly be? I don't know, how hard is it? It's taking longer than I would have hoped. Okay, then why did Devin and Jeff hire me as assistant manager? They hired manager? you in for the position. They didn't hire you at the position. They said, Nick, train you. Exactly. So I, I was under the assumption with how busy they are. Well, have you, have you, ever, have you ever heard of this? Don't assume, because it makes an ass out of you and me. You have to learn from the bottom, because it's not your tanning salon. Okay. We are not in hey, Reno. Hey, just tell me right now, I'm not set the manager. You're, yeah, not until you go okay. through the Okay, well, then I'm leaving, because there's there's no point of me so much. You have so to much... learn. Honey, you got to get over this high horse. You don't think I know how to answer the phone? Hey, okay, well, you had a phone call five minutes before, and you told somebody the wrong pricing. Because you wouldn't tell me. I'm like, it's on the information packet I gave you the first yeah. Hey, it's on the paper. If you can't read the paper, maybe you shouldn't be the assistant. Maybe you shouldn't work here. Because you say you're overqualified and you're still messing up on little things. That's why you're not ready. You're the one that makes ass? the company look like an ass because I'm like, Nick, and you're like, I make the company look like an ass? Yeah. yeah. Wait, you, I, you I liked it better done. when you said you were leaving. Go ahead. Okay, Go fine. Ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Brad. Sorry. Thank you. So as if this trip couldn't get any better, we're walking through the hotel and George goes, look guys, I got a surprise for you. So we have no idea what to expect. Well, you know, you excited? So excited. Let's do it, guys. So um, George took us in the Palms Hotel limo. We look up, and we see this huge billboard covered with a big white tarp. So at that point, Devin and I pretty much knew uh, what the surprise was. You guys ready? You guys nervous? Go Let's ahead, do it, George. buddy. Let's do it. Go ahead, guys. Pull it. There it is, baby. Yeah. Oh, my God. We have a ride. We have a ride. Wow. There you go. Wow. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, that looks amazing, George. Nice. Woo, that's insane, guys. Yeah. Congratulations, bro. And I couldn't be happier for Devin and Jeff. I love them. I love working for them. I'm just so excited to be a part of all this. Four years ago, we were nothing. You know, now we've got our own billboard here at the Palms. Life couldn't be better. It's incredible. I mean, it's such a sense of accomplishment, and I can finally say that, you know, we made it. Dude, George, that is amazing. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. This is, like, surreal right now. Oh my so God, surreal. I know. It's a great day. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sunset tan, sunset tan to the palms and to many great things ahead. Yeah! It's a party, 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 party. Next on Sunset Tan. You guys just trashed my house. Yeah. Did you know that Molly and Nick hooked up? Shut the up. I'm 100% sure. I wanted to like know what really happened. Did you guys Nick and I got into it really bad. I don't need a 23-year-old kid starting drama with me. Shut the We've come to the decision, and we can no longer have you at the company. You're fired. 